So what bay is this? Gasparilla Pass. The uh, Bird Key is right there. Little Gasparilla Island is this, this one right here. Brandon just caught some chummers. We're kind of floating off a sandbar here. And uh, we're gonna go see what else we can catch inshore because there's a lot of it. Yeah, the next pass down is Boca Grande. Someday we need to go try and catch some tarpon. Down for that pick. That tree seen a few uh, storms in his day. So we're just moving around inshore, see if we can catch something cool. Throwing some shrimp up by the rocks here. That tree's actually an invasive species and they're everywhere. These tall are not the long needle pine, but the ones with the frilly, the thicker one is a long needle pine, but these guys are all Australian pines and they're invasive. Some places, they're actually talking about cutting them all down and trying to kill them. They're pretty, but they don't belong. Really? Yeah. That's a snapper. Wow. Nice mang, brother. One more for the Whoa. box. That's awesome That's for in one. here. Well, Jeez, mark that nice. spot. Oh, he's got a hook in his belly. Really? Pretty cool. You think that may be what you had a minute ago? I could have swore that was a snook just now because he Big grabbed flop. it and just ran right under the, the... We're not used to having this big of snappers in the shore. Like... <laughs> well, you got to know where to go, right? Yeah. That's a good 14-inch snapper right there. Heck yeah. Eater! Look, Look at the hook coming out of his butt. <laughs> he digest that thing. He almost got rid of it. Maybe not. I don't see how it could come out of there. You oh. see more? Yeah, they're all right there under that chunk. There he is. I let go of my pole. So, oh! That look at that! Wow! Holy cow! Over the rod! Over the rod! Good job, bro. Dude, that's your biggest wow. inshore one ever. Oh, I, I caught, caught a 15 over it at, uh, at New Pass. He's wow, pretty that's close. Tank for a dock, dude. <laughs> We're in like six foot of water. That would be my record right there. Wow. He that was sweet. That's a nice beating one. this 4K. I think we're good. Yeah, a little spot. A little spot, yeah. More fish for the grill. Holy cow, man. Ooh, ooh. Get you. Yep. Jesus, there's a tank. See what he measures. I'm just curious. He's probably 14 and a half. Back. Yeah, I will. I'll get us back in there. Oh, dude, that was a fish. Wow, look at that. He laid me open. Yeah, it went sideways though. It didn't go very deep. Yeah. Okay, that is my new inshore record. That's 15 and a half. For inshore, that's that's a stud snapper for a dog. Really. All right, let me get back up in there. I'll you put the trolling motor. Yeah. What well, Brandon just hooked into. That dolphin's gonna grab him, bro. Oh, that's a nice one. Get that green net. I got you. Oh, nice oh, job, man. buddy. Watch this there. pole. Yeah. Watch the dolphin. Yep. yep. Keep an eye out for the dolphin. He's gonna take it if he wants it. Bring him right to me, B. Oh, there he is. Dude, nice fish, bro. This is. Right over here, B. This could be your new PB. What is it, 32? I don't remember. No, his, his PB's a tank. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good snook. But that's all right. He's PB. coming up. Okay, he's in. He's in. He's easy. Gonna, he ain't tired yet, I'm boys. I'm gonna pinwheel him around here. Okay. Head right first. Here, right here. Nice. Dude! Oh, what? That is a what did you catch yes. him on? A shrimp. That is a clean little fish What, what right pond there. test is this? That's 20 pound leader and 30 pound braid. Oh, he's beautiful. Wow. Oh. Let's go. Yeah, baby. I got to grab the fish. tape. Yes. It's a nice little snook. Look at a dolphin. He's like, hey, give it to me. Look at this guy. Stay away. You gotta pay attention. We're gonna have to let him go on this side of the boat. Hold up, you're not all the way there yet. 27, he would be, he's 27 and a half, he'd be one inch shy of slot if they were open. Yep. Oh, oh he took oh. you in the... 
pretty fish, man. Yeah, All right, man. revive him, buddy. Sweet. Yeah, over here because yeah. of the dolphin. The dolphin's waiting for him. <laughs> Careful, too. Pay attention because the last time your dad did this, the dolphin tried to come up and take that fish out of his hand and almost oh, took his I'll hand off. Them. No, they're smart, man. They, they, they they'll go, they'll the hit fish. the fish directly, but it's still scary as yep. shit. Oh, let, him, let go of his tail and then just let him hold. Oh, here he is right there. Let him hold down on your thumb. And Wake's coming go. right for me. He'll let go when he's ready. The yep. wake's he darted. Is that him? Go! Leave my fish alone. There he goes. There you go. He gone. Yeah. All right, let's catch another one. Heck yeah, man. I was expecting a mango. Oh, oh he got it, you oh, son of a... What? Ah. Curse you! Look at that. Look at it, he's got it in his mouth still. Uh, damn, it's all good. Well, we could always trip, have... Man. Tourists are like, oh my god, dolphins are so majestic. They're so beautiful. They are beautiful. Yeah, they're beautiful assholes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're eating the chummers. I'll throw some more out. Wow, that's a big one, Brandon. Only catch the big Dang. ones, guys. Doink. So, uh, is uh, anybody else planning on putting any meat in the cooler or just me? No, nah, I just decided to catch a trophy. <laughs> Salad. Daddy made that last night when you weren't home. Well, we're in the kitchen. We got a couple little snapper to clean. And uh, that puppy's crazy. Man, I'll tell you what. This beard is driving me nuts. Mom likes it. I can't shave it. Mom likes it. But. Leave it in the comment section. Beard or no beard? Because I vote no beard, but my wife is out voting me. Good boy. He can sit and shake now. What? Took you almost 10 years before you figured that out. All right, let's get to scaling these bad boys. If you cook them whole, you get much more meat. Basically, if you start at the tail, and you work your way towards the head, you'll be going against the scales and they come right off. Pretty easy. I wouldn't suggest you do it in your house, but oh well. I know somebody that'll clean it up. We're crazy people. Oh, I got them everywhere. Anyway. They are literally everywhere. Well guys, I just remembered something. If you do this in your house, like I'm doing it, you can just fill the sink up with water and that'll keep them from flying everywhere. Pretty sweet. I, uh, I would take the credit for that, but actually someone suggested it a while back in the comment section. So, whoever you are, Thank you. All right guys, we're just gonna put a few little slits in here. Now, I had to take the heads off. I gutted them too. Ooh, got a couple little scales left over there. 
because these one was 11 and one was close to 12 inches and there's no way they'd fit in my little frying pan so I removed the heads there you go all right let's come over here what we're going to do is we, I've got a little bit of olive oil in here and then some cooking olive oil. All right. And I'm just going to put a teeny bit of sesame seed oil in there just for flavor. Let's put this heat on. We'll put it on high for a second, try to get that going now. So this is just straight flour there. I'm just gonna salt inside, outside, and do the same with the pepper. All right, now we're just gonna Get these guys all floured up. Shake off the excess. Now that sesame oil will smoke. You use too much of that. up in here it feels colder for some reason it does feel colder all right let's get some veggies going here kiddo okay so i just taken some bok choy here trying to see how big the heart is I'm saving that for another thing i'm cooking not the whole base most of it Steam this guy. Let's throw some jalapeno on there too, baby girl. So just a little bit, slicing it kind of thin. Let's put these in there. Sneaking them. Careful, there's jalapeno seeds on it. I know you probably don't care, but all right, in with those too. I gotta get a steam rack. I can taste the jalapeno. Yeah. All right, let's take a peek at the fish here. Just a little bit longer. See how that you see how the uh, flower you get that golden brown yeah. all right this is just about ready guys starting to smoke it's all right 
I'm just kind of tilting the pan so that grease gets down on the thicker end of things. And then I get that off the heat. Okay, so there's that. I'm just going to put a little pepper. bit of salt just gonna do some tri-colored sesame seeds and now look at this PF Chang's baby can you pronounce that probably not it's Kung Pao sauce Some? Oh, that's a lot. It's spicy. You could have told me that. You know, it's not too spicy. Taste it. You'll like it. But it does creep up on you, so your mouth will be bleeding in about a minute. It does. It's not bad, though. It's not bad, but it does have a spice. <sighs> okay, well, Mom had to run out. So it's just her and I. Yum. Here, honey, hold this. I'll cut some of this up. That bok choy is so good, I just stole a piece. Spicy? Yeah, just a tiny bit. Here. <laughs> I'll take the heart. <clears throat> oh, that's spicy. Mm hmm Yeah, the jalapenos are not super duper warm because all that went into the water. Oh my goodness, that is good though. All right, going down the hatch. Nice crunchy skin. I love that. I don't know how I'm eating this right now. That is so good. I feel a tiny, tiny, tiny bit spicy. Just a tiny bit. It lingers just for a second. good so the Browns are on tonight could be an interesting game Baker Mayfield is hurt so he's not gonna be playing I worked in Cleveland actually Did a bunch of stuff there but used to be one of those dudes in the dog pound probably four or five years before Baker Mayfield was even born so this is the old stadium the dog pound baby that was before Art Modell took the Browns to Baltimore and became the Baltimore Ravens and ripped the heart out of that city. And that was, I believe, in 1996 when they did that. They built the new stadium in 1999. Uh, Art Modell took them out of there in 1996. So. But it's good to see them having somewhat of a good team after all these years. I mean, it, basically, it's an expansion team now, which is bizarre. They get the best fans in the country. Anyways, waiting for Jamie and Benjamin, and then uh, we'll eat this. And probably say our prayer and all that then. But sure do appreciate you guys watching. And uh, yeah, don't forget like and subscribe if you like what we're doing uh, i feel kind of bad about that 27 and a half inch snook Fe feel like that was my fault but you know with red tide and everything that's been going on there there's some around but you just hate to see one taken like that uh, i could have done a few things differently but 
anyway, we love you and uh, we're gonna see you in the next one. We are out.